I'm Lauren Jones for the Los Angeles Sentinel here with Shea Cotton, the man behind Manchild, the Shea Cotton story. We're going to be talking a little bit about the documentary, basketball, and more. By the time I was 15 years old, I was considered one of the best players in the country. Oh yeah, I mean, he was like a rock star at 13 years old. When I first saw him, it, it, it was something I'd never seen. The term man-child was devised in order to describe Shea Cotton. High loud for Shea. Oh, oh, oh. So Shay, tell me what does the term man-child mean? A man amongst boys. Uh, man-child is the moniker that I was given when I first started playing. Uh, accelerated at an alarming rate because I played against older and bigger kids and I made it look easy against kids in my age. So I think that name developed early and it just stuck. The first time I remember being called man-child I think was I was 12 years old on my birthday. My 12th birthday, okay. I had 40 points at Carson High School in a tournament. And after that, they was like, man, he, he played like a man possessed. That kid's a man child. And after that, it just started steamrolling. Shea Cotton was like LeBron James before there ever was a LeBron James. To hear when people say that he, he was the LeBron James before LeBron James, what's your reaction to that? It sounds good, but you know, when you, when you don't get to where you want to go, it's kind of like a bittersweet. How easy is it to get caught up in the hype? In Los Angeles, it's very easy. You know, a lot of athletes come here, sign deals, and they become different players because of the city. I think uh, that that's a great thing. The, the cautionary tale is if it happened to me, it could happen to anyone. I mean, I was number one player in North America by the time I was 16 years old. So Sports Illustrated did a cover story, the whole deal, four-page layout, and that was the barometer then. It was nothing bigger. So. It got crazy from that point, you know, parasites, leeches, grown men, agents, you know, everybody's trying to get a piece of me. And I'm a kid learning the business and my parents didn't play sports. Growing up, Shea Cotton was the ultimate ball player at our age bracket. Uh, when I first saw him, I was like, there's no way that this dude is the same age as everybody else. <laughs> we were all trying to be as big as Shea Cotton. What was the highest point for you? The highest point for me would probably be when I won my state championship in high school, 1995 at Modern Day. We were in Oakland, Oakland Coliseum. We beat uh, Oakland Fremont. At that point, I knew I had arrived. And uh, I don't know if I've felt anything to that capacity since. So you graduate from high school. What happens next? Graduated from high school. Um, I committed to go to Long Beach State with my brother. My brother chose to go hardship to the NBA because of financial difficulties at home. And I asked to be taken out of my letter, uh, released in uh, Long Beach State. They basically approved it and let me go. Opened up my recruiting process all over again. And being from LA, I, I said I wanted to go to the best place. And I chose to go to UCLA. You know, no knock to Long Beach State, but it's just a different level. And I felt like my skills, you know, warranted that scholarship, so it worked The Wooden well. Dynasty, the legacy. That's it, you know, all the national titles, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, and this is the West Coast, North Carolina at the end of the day, so I, I trained at UCLA all through school growing up, playing against the UCLA men's gym, the, the NBA players, and I had an opportunity and I took advantage. You know, me, Baron, Earl Watson, Billy Knight, Travis Reed, we all came in together, and everybody uh, was excited. So we went through all of the freshman FSP classes, passed all my courses. The last day of uh, FSP, one of my um, my proctors come up and give me a newspaper, and it reads NC2A invalidates Cotton's test score. I mean, you could have bought me for a dollar, you know. So something that was accepted to Long Beach State wasn't accepted to UCLA. So I knew something was going on, yeah. and then I was being slandered, and everybody thought that I was dumb and I didn't pass my test. And, you know. What was that moment like for you? It just feels like somebody ripping your heart out. You know, you work so hard for something that you feel is rightfully yours, and then here it is, they just take it from you. And it's like, well, why? You know. When you hear student athlete, that term, what comes to mind? Athlete, student. You know, they, they work you like a mule. People don't understand how hard it is. You know, our, our schedules are a lot more filled every day than the regular student. And 
that's not given enough credit. You know, the work that you have to put in to be eligible so you can do the job that you're set out to do to help those schools continually make money because football and basketball are bringing in all the money. Shea Cotton is the best high school athlete that I've ever, ever seen. Quarter has been all monarch so far. High low. Man, he is selling out gyms since sixth grade, seventh grade. I saw Baron Davis has made a cameo in the uh, documentary. There are a lot of notable names, uh, basketball and beyond. Uh, Randy Moss, amazing people, figures. What was it like to get their support in this project? It was unbelievable because it was overwhelming at that, at that time because a lot of these interviews were being done without me around. Paul Pierce was over an hour at his home. You know, Randy Moss gave his with no problem. You know, we've got Kevin Garnett behind the scenes. I just, I have so much content that I haven't released because I'm personal and I take my friendship serious. God put it on my heart to do something bigger than what I did when I played. So we created a foundation, Man Child League Corporation, which is active now. And um, Shea Cotton Inc., which is my, uh, my business that I operate through daily for profit. And, you know, we're doing some amazing things with kids behind the scenes. It's the integrity and the character that's being built.